Let's talk about Brightly Thrive. I mean, you obviously started together as your world collided, as you said, uh, Noel, but what problem are you solving within regards to the health arena? Definitely connection. And like mm -hmm. you said earlier in the beginning of the show, we can't, you know, transformation cannot happen in isolation. We need connection. Humans are wired for connection. And that social connection is medicine. It's the greatest medicine there is, right? To be able to, you know, share your journey, walk that path with others who are going through similar things, be able to be in a safe space to talk about these things, you know, that for me, that safe space was not found in a doctor's office. Mm -hmm. And I think something that also isn't talked a lot about in an autoimmune journey or a health transformation for that matter is that when you embark on a health transformation, oftentimes it can be a very lonely place because you're starting to make different changes in your life. You're, you're sort of shedding your old identity and you're moving into a newer, healthier identity. And with that, you know, you can, you, people are in your life, kind of people that are in your orbit, they're thinking, wow, you know, who is this new person, right? She's, she's no longer, you know, attending happy hour with us. So what <laughs> happened to pizza night, right? And you're starting to make all these healthy shifts and it can get, get kind of lonely because you're like, man, where's my tribe? Where, where are my people? Right. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is what we're creating with Brightly Thrive is your, it's, it's a, it's your home place. It's your tribe. It's, it's people that know, um, what you're going through and can share those experiences and go, and walk that transformation right alongside you. You know, I don't know if Cassie has anything to no, add to I that. Mean, you totally nailed it. I mean, it's the, it's the community piece. It's, mm -hmm. um, you know, we can do all the things on our own when it comes to researching and learning and, you know, going off and getting education. But really, uh, when we start to connect with other human beings, that's really where that transformation happens. You get motivated, you're inspired. Um, like Noelle said, you're wrapped up in support. You're with people that just get it. Um, you know, we both have families and we both have husbands and, you know, neither one of them have autoimmune disease. And yes, they are supportive. But on the days that you're having flares and things like that, um, they just they don't get it. You know what I mean? They see you suffering, but they don't know what it feels like on the inside. They can't tell where you're at mentally. Um, and so connecting with other people that are on that same journey is just so paramount to that healing. 